Welcome to HeroQuest fans. Welcome to Saturday's stream. We are live on Twitch, not live on YouTube. Thanks for joining us. And I see Bohemius is here. No block, 1138. So everybody be on their guard tonight. There's bots out there. Don't get fooled. <laughs> and snowstorms. Yes, and lots of snowstorms. And ice and other things. I'll be safe. Well, Rise of the Dread Moon tonight, so what will you be uh, taking control of tonight, Bohemius? Usual? Wizard, yes. The wizard. Okay. All right, do you need a rundown of what he's got? I know I didn't I send up the latest so. character sheets. Okay. <laughs> If you want to give me the rundown while we are waiting for more people. Sure. Sure thing. Okay, Bohemius, the uh, talented wizard. Uh, he has used up, looks like, all of his spells. Fire, air, and earth. But he does have in his possession a potion of recall, which would bring back one of those spells. And a potion of magic, which would bring back three of one type. Also, two 1d6 healing potions, an unidentified ingredient that could be used at any alchemist bench, two holy waters, potion of alchemy, fire resistance, two smoke bombs, one caltrop, potion of superior restoration, uh, frost skin, two potions of dexterity, Magical Aptitude, and Grog, the most important one. <laughs> and also 1,490 yeah. gold coins. He's down to one body point. And he only has uh, four daggers left, so he better uh, make sure he rations those. Also a staff, torch, cloak, bracers, and the rallying horn. Any questions about that? Looks like the party has a total of five reputation uh, tokens. Right now it's just the two of us, but let me reveal the map and show you where we left off. So here we have our wizard, also the dwarf, monk, barbarian, and we left off actually on the hero's turn, according to Jacer's record keeping there. And he's saying that the barbarian room needs to be searched for traps, secret doors by the monk. Because if you look at the areas that have been explored in this quest, friends in low places, uh, this room was cleared of monsters, kind of made their way there. Ah. <laughs> no bot here. Well, that's true. Yeah, not anymore. I, I took care of that. Jason says, no, not, although I'm not saying any board members are not allowed. So, Jacer, um, are you on your way home there, or are you able to join us? Are just lurking tonight. Cheers, dead gamer. I 
by my count, the monk has only used his earth so far. But with no monsters on the board, on his next turn, it'll be resetting anyway. Ah, he's logging in. Okay. Yeah, because I was going to say, we've got room for heroes. Plenty of room. Plenty of room. No block 1138 says I always run Zargon for everyone in my games. Yeah. Ah, PSK says what's up. Yeah. Well, uh, just doing what we do, and uh, good to hear from PSK. He's a cool guy. Check him out on Twitch. Hope he's doing well. Really good painter. Oh, <laughs> I probably should let him know that uh, I've got a box of D&D now, so I might have to learn how to play that game one of these days. Yeah, no block. I, I'm usually Zargon as well. Um, I I enjoy it, but it is nice to play as a hero from time to time as well. Yeah, he seems like he's doing good. He was uh, painting. I was watching his stream most of the afternoon and early evening. Nice. Yeah, I uh, <laughs> I got an old collection of uh, Looney Tunes cartoons, and I was going through it, and it was like. I remember about half of these from my youth, and the other half I don't think I'd ever seen before. Um, yeah, yeah. PSK is a cool guy. He uh, he's a military guy, and he retired. I know he talked about that for a while, but he must be retired by now, officially. He does a lot of charity streams and uh, a lot of art stuff. And it's through him, I think, that I learned about a lot of those painting streams on Twitch. Um, like Gareth Hrydmar and uh, Wicked Minis painting, and a few others that I'm forgetting at the moment. Noblock says, yeah, eventually I'll run a hero and use the app for Zargon. I really want to try Monk or Warlock. Uh, at this time, I can't really recommend the app, to version 2.0. I know it's only certain things that are broken on it, but... Like, you can't pass through monsters, so Dust of Disappearance, Veil of Mist, and the Rogue's ability will not work. I mean, you can simulate it by using Pass Through Rock to, like, go around monsters, but, yeah, it's kind of weird. I've had some weird crashes, too. I mean, they don't update it very often is the other, the other issue with that. Otherwise, it'd be like, ah, no big deal. I've tried going back to earlier versions, and I it just doesn't work very well. Um, of course... I'm trying to do it on an, on an emulator, so your mileage may vary. Monk or Warlock? Yeah. I don't think anybody's used the Warlock in our, our streams yet. I've never used the character either. But yeah, right now we have a Monk, Dwarf, Wizard, Barbarian, but I mean, we could always throw other heroes in there. Plus we have some house rules the app won't recognize. Well... I found that a lot of the house rules that I have, I can simulate on the app or just do. But yeah, I, I guess it depends on the house rule. I mean, if you're trying to change the layout of the quest, yeah, it's not going to work. But I mean, for example, if you are used to giving the, the dwarf the ability to like disarm uh, pit traps and falling block traps like after the fact, after they've been triggered... You could just simulate that by, you know, just having everybody automatically jump the trap, the pit, or use pass through rock on the, the stone. I mean, you can simulate how much damage the monsters actually do when they attack you, and how much defense you have. And if you're using like heroes that they don't recognize, you'd have to just, I guess, just tweak the stats or, yeah, make it up. Hold on, I think that was my phone. Just a moment. But yeah, it's it's not it's not unlimited. 
can only do certain things. But yeah, uh, it's open if you want to join us. So far, we've got Bohemius and Jacer, but you know we can we can add more, more the merrier. Hold on, I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. Yeah, that's that's no problem, no block. Thanks for thanks for stopping by. Thanks for checking us out. You can always watch the replay later. Alright, we got Sand Swift. Welcome back. Alright, we just need to get our heroes ready to go and I think we're ready to go for the evening for our game here. Okay, Jacer's in. So, Jacer, will you be taking the dwarf and the monk this time? Sure, unless anybody wants to jump in and give the monk a whirl. Yeah, <laughs> sounds good. Yeah, we're pretty flexible as far as that all goes. Yeah, I've been keeping it as an extra character. I think it's been been used by like two other people, maybe. Yeah. So I always wonder. But if yeah, that way that way they're in the quest. So if anybody wants to jump in and you know try them out, they can. Yeah, I always wonder if somebody is like watching and going, "Well, I could play, but oh, they're already controlling all the characters." It's like, nah, it's not like that. It's more like a video game where it's just like, "Air, jump in." <laughs> There's a spot that's open. Drop in, drop out, co-op play. Alrighty. Sorry, gone down a little bit there. Yes, I do have seven threat cards. Okay, so we don't have a barbarian at the moment. Unless, unless Jacer, uh, you've got two. Bohemius, would you want a second hero? No, I, I I guess or, Ruby is probably known, I hope. Yeah, if Ruby gets here, he's been our barbarian a lot. For the moment, we'll just uh, keep the torch burning for him. Okay, wizard, go ahead, your turn. Well, wizard goes where the barbarian just pooped. I search for secret doors. Oh, this he was in a pit. Okay. One, two, I, it, well, I, I didn't see the pit. Four. It's square. Oh, it was on the square you were in. <laughs> so you've been in this ah, pit. For, yes. for a week. For a week. I, I almost died there. <laughs> now I remember. <laughs> yeah, there's like empty coffee cups and stuff <laughs> laying around. He's been in there so long. Been a week inside the pit. It's oh my not, god! It's not real. Well, I was, I was, I was hearing about how Dungeons and Dragons is that way. It's like it's real time. So it's like, oh, you come back a month later. Well, sorry, everybody starved to death while you were gone. So oh like, wait, what? I could have searched for uh, for treasure inside the pit. <laughs> I had an entire week to search. I mean, oh yeah. Would you, would you want to just do that <laughs> first? <laughs> Let's search inside the pit. I mean. All right. Starting off, excellently. <laughs> okay. Let's see what you get. Poison! Your throat constricts as you taste it. You roll one <laughs> combat die. If it lands on a skull, you lose one mind point. Any other result, you are unarmed. You gotta be careful with that grog. I've warned you before. <laughs> well, uh... <laughs> Oh, let's get the dice on screen. Yeah. Excuse me. Skull. Oh. <laughs> 
Okay, so you lose one wine point. Well, yeah. he's got plenty yeah. more. But my uh, my turn is over, or I can move. I don't remember. The poison. It doesn't say your turn is over, so I think you can. Oh, I can continue. Going. So uh, I'm going uh, in the uh, blue room. There is Discord. All right, one, two, three, four. You go, Jacer. All right. Um, Just trying to get out I of guess the, the month, uh, or the dwarf. Is there a door in that blue room? To the to the dwarf's right. No. Uh, no, but no, but, no, uh, but no invisible doors. Secret doors. It has not been exhaustively searched. We searched all, right. all the other for uh, secret All right, doors. so the dwarf will go down one and left one, and he'll search that blue room for secret doors. Okay. All right, no secret doors found. All right, the, the monk will go one south of the wizard and use his... Earth technique to search for oh, yeah. secret doors and traps. That was reset. Okay, so you're going into the blue room to do that? Yeah, just south of the wizard. Alright. So with his powers of discernment, he uh, searches thoroughly for both traps and secret doors simultaneously. He finds no traps and no secret doors. Okay. There's no way out. There's a way out. We search here for secret doors everywhere. Okay. Are you sure about that? Did we search uh, the uh, the you, red room? Did you zoom out a little bit? Uh, that way, that way. All right. There's a room what down is here the alchemy bench? Searched, but... Where? This little room has... This door has never been opened. We enter from... Ah, that one. Yeah, you entered from the other one. Now... <clears throat> we completely forget that room. <laughs> I know it's yes, been a while. Did. No, it was, was, uh, was locked. We didn't have the key. Now, hmm. now we have a key? You haven't searched uh, this, this room for everything yet. Uh, yes, actually, I did grab a key, I think, from... I killed something that had a key. A Magus Guard? Okay. I think... Uh... Might be the monk has a key, and the dwarf, I think, had a key ring, but used it. Wait a second. Maybe no, the barbarian. I think I, I think I made a mistake. I think you did actually. I think you did actually open this one. Yeah. Okay. So never mind about that one. It's been so long. Even Uncle Zargon forgot. All right. Well, it's Sargon's turn. So I get to draw on a card. Okay, so no block 1138 says, I'm interested in how the monk functions. I just got mine in the mail. It looks sweet. Yeah, it does look pretty sweet, doesn't it? Jacer said we should do a, an unboxing on stream. It's always a possibility. You should. I thought about it, but I already opened mine and painted it. <laughs> and then put it in the box and gifted it. He's that quick. I just put, well, I just did, uh, just did the wash over the monk's skin. I think I see. And then now, I, he, now, he looks, now he looks even redder. So I, I just got to post the new pictures. And I did the bracers. I probably saw your so old picture and now. commented on it. So, yeah. Okay, yes. I, while I was working on it. You inspire the people with their piles of gray shame. <laughs> it's like, hey, just start painting. Just do it. You can do it. Yeah. All right. It's, I drew my card. It's one of those things, the more you do, the better you get. 
Yeah, just practice. It's it's really easy to remove paint from those figures. Uh, you can use simple green, super clean. LA is totally awesome. And, Doesn't damage. And while you're while while you're painting, you can just dip another brush in water and erase it as you go. If you make a big mistake, mm -hmm. erase it, let it dry, and then try it again. Acrylic. I do a lot of batch painting, so if I mess up one, I just rinse it off real fast and mm -hmm. go to the next one. An old toothbrush is also helpful. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm learning a lot from you guys. <laughs> okay, wizard. To be sure, I'm going in the red robe and search for secret doors. All right, search in the red room. No secret doors found. Uh, you go. The dwarf is going to go out of that blue room and head south and west around that corner. And we search. The, uh, what is the uh, the alchemist table? Maybe He's going to search there. there for secret doors. There's a wall there. Oh yes. I couldn't see it because oh. of that. All right, yeah. He, he so he uh, he smashes through the wall. With an illusion. <laughs> he sees lots of solid rock before. and he bounces back. Oh man! All right, I guess he's. I guess he'll go to the to the east and around there. Okay, that's what he meant to do all along. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh. Let's go three more south. Uh, I guess it wouldn't. Uh, I guess that's it. Uh, I don't think there'd be anything there, but I'll, I'll search for secret doors anyway. Okay. I know I see the one right in front of me. Are you searching vertically or horizontally? I guess horizontally. I don't think it'll make a difference. No secret doors detected. All right. Uh, the monk is going to activate the dragon wing thing and fly over to pit. Okay. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Where does he want to end up? Uh, I guess towards the dwarf. Uh, one space north. Uh, I'll search that horizontal corridor for secret doors. Okay, no secret doors detected. All right. Mordecai says, so last night I was leaving work and the dispatcher said the warehouse was having a drawing for some prizes. Hmm. Good luck. I won the new Marvel oh. Zombies X-Men game. Ah, cool. That'll bring it back to your turn. All right. Hero's turn. Oh, well, um, the wise wizard. I'm going, I'm going to try to jump the pit. He's going to try to jump the pit, folks. <laughs> you going to just do it normally or with the dexterity? Um, I'm just, just checking, just checking. Just, uh, which potion? Yeah, yeah, I'm going to use a dexterity. Okay. One, two, three, four. And uh, go by the side of the door. Okay. So used one dexterity, but you have another one remaining. Yep. All right. All right the dwarf is going to go one south and then one to the east and be on that secret door. 
And he's gonna search that room for secret doors. I already searched that room for secret doors. Right, you still wanna search it? Hey, go go to the uh, the, yeah, uh, the only thing I got is the one of the alchemy room. Do it, do it, search. Okay, I, I'm not sure what at the percent. So do it. Yeah. All right. The dwarf will search that one. All right. And no secret doors. All right. The monk will go in the alchemist room and search and use his ability to search for traps and secret doors. Okay. Not reset again. He used that. All right. He checks. A secret door was found. Right there. Okay, All so right. bonus potion uh, for anyone. Thank you, Wardacon. All right. The monk will call out to everybody else that uh, they come in this room. Potion of warmth. Who wants it? Uh, monk. He's only got two. Yeah. Uh. Let's do something. I get that one, and I give you one d six for the monk. Exchange. Ah. What do you think? Uh, target. Yeah, I'll take that trade. That's it. Okay, so the warmth goes to the wizard, and he is going to give one of his one d sixes to the monk next time he. Meets his acquaintance, and I yep. saw I saw earlier you rolled a skull, uh, um, Mohemia. So you meant to just do a normal jump instead of the dexterity. You didn't need it, actually. The uh, was for the previous, uh, for the uh, for the poison. Oh, right? for the poison. Oh, okay, so you still did use it. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. I'm already tired. I'm kidding. I was shoveling snow earlier. You gotta give me a break. I'm kidding. Like evil never sleeps. What, what's what's wrong with you? <laughs> All right. Okay. So with that. Okay, heroes. Oh, uh, let's open this uh, secret door. So you're going to make your way into that room? Yes. Yeah, because he has to pass the potion to me on his way in. Five. Here you go. Yeah. Six, <laughs> seven. Open the door. All right, you're opening the door? Yeah. Okay, so you open the secret door. Revealing everything inside. So the the monk, I think, has another body point, and the elixir wears off. Oh yes. All right, you see a couple of prisoners in there. Yeah, thanks for reminding me about the elixir. Yeah, I I was just looking and I saw the the ease yeah. next to the health going up. He should have. And... Yeah, I should have given that to you earlier. But anyway, he's got it now. There was no fighting going on, so. And we'll subtract one potion from the tally. Oh, but he's he gained another one. Yes, from the from the yep. wizard. So he's at five health. Okay. Anything else, wizard? Uh, 
Uh, I think they're going to call these people. All right. They say, oh, at last, you've come to free us. And then they they see that you're heavily armed, and they're like, give us weapons. We'll fight. We can fight. I'll beg you for my daggers. We keep a dagger each. Go. So you do give them fight for a good cause. Like you give them daggers, okay? Well, they ask for weapons. All right. Okay, so they're now <laughs> armed with weapons. Put them on the board without them falling over. Okay, there we go. Okay, so they can now move and uh, fight like everybody else. Search. Well, I'm going to search for... Uh... They can move six squares and they each have one body point. Searching for secret doors inside the uh, green room. Okay. Uh, unless talking with the people counts as an action. No, it doesn't. It's free action. All right, so you go in there. Oh, I forgot. There's a There's a door. Yeah, so there's no secret doors, but there's a door. Okay. Chaser. I uh, move the dwarf. Uh, I guess right to that unopened door. And uh, I'll do a search for treasure. Bonus equipment. Thanks, Wardicon. Okay, I I thought I fixed those alerts, and I'm not hearing any of these. That's so weird. They reset them again on me. I don't know what what's going on. Of course, uh, Twitch did uh, lay off a bunch of people, so maybe. That has something to do with it, I have no idea. But thank you for cashing that in. Yep, all my alerts have been reset again. <sighs> oh well, I'm not gonna set them all up again. Don't know what's up with that. An elven cloak of passage. This enables the elf to pass through walls without harm. Their shaded areas, blah, blah, blah. Can be used three times. Well. Give it to me, I'll give it. Yeah, yeah. Well, we we mm -hmm. find we, we find them out. Yep. Bonus treasure search. Okay. Thank you, Wardicon. All right. How about the monk? Eighty plus miniatures. Wow, that's a lot. It's more than Hero Quest. Think. Welcome, his bizarre. Uh, what did the What did the dwarf find? An elven cloak of passage. Oh, okay. Elven cloak of passage. How does he? I get thought that was a bonus equipment? equipment for a reason. Oh, yeah, we got to draw bonus equipment. Thank you for reminding me. Well, people uh, drew more cards, and I had turns where I got more stuff, so. Three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. A mace. So can't be used by the wizard, but anybody else could take a two combat die weapon. Or you could uh, give it to I one believe of the, the barbarian. I believe the barbarian doesn't have uh, a mace in his collection. 
<laughs> I say arm one of the people with a mace. I I, uh, I don't know. They can hurt each other. I, I don't know. I know. And I I think the mace will be the same anyway. It's a good uh, looks. Okay. Okay. All right, so what did we decide? Are they, who's getting the mace? Uh, I'll keep it. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm going to give it as a present uh, to Barbadian. Okay. So we've got an opening for a Barbarian. His Bazargon, did you want to take control of a hero? You can always join us if you'd like. We've got openings. The bard. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have to be the bard, but you could if you wanted. Okay. All right. Uh, can the uh, dwarf use the bonus search while he's standing there? Sure. All right. Save search. Only monster. We'll ignore that. Thanks for the offer, but it's too late here to join, unfortunately. Oh, that's okay, man. One of these times, we'll get his bazaar gun back into the uh, back into the action. All right, potion of strength. Sounds good. I'll open that door. All right, the door doesn't seem to want to open. You have a key? I think the monk has it. I have the key ring, but you said I used it. Yeah, the monk has the key ring. All right, so the, the monk will... Uh... The monk will go and open that door in front of the dwarf. All right. The key works. The door opens. All right. The prisoners seem uh, agitated. They've got their daggers ready. I think there's still some guards out there. We can take them. All right. I move one north, and I pass a short sword to one of the uh, people there. Okay. So this is the monk still, right? Yes. Okay. And is he continuing to go north? Yeah, so that he's in between them, yep. And I'll pass the uh, short sword to one of them. It's the one between him and the dwarf. I'll pass the short sword. Okay, so this uh, militia, we'll say, <laughs> is armed with a short sword now. This one still has a dagger. Okay. My turn? Yep. Um, I'm going to use the rest of this movement to walk south into that corridor. Okay. And I'll use his technique to search for traps and secret doors. Well, before he does that, he sees... Okay. Sees door maybe not and on either side he sees some monsters a mummy and a chaos warrior let's get my other camera here that'll be a little easier to see Uh, 
uh, if you have enough movement, you can go between the two guys. Then there, let the rest of us pass. Mm -hmm. The mommy in the cow for Technically, he can search this corridor because he, the monsters are on the other side. So, are you still going to use your technique to search? No, no. Um, use the longbow and try to shoot the chaos warrior. Uh, doesn't have line of sight. Oh, no. all right. All right, then one step f towards them, and I'll use the air ability to hit both of them. That's a spirit. Yep, can't hit one, hit both. All right. The power of the east wind <laughs> he kicks out in all directions. Ha, 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 ha. All right, so roll your dice. You're still rolling two black, right? Or one black and one white, sorry. One black, one white, yep. Champion. Two skulls, excellent. Okay, so the mummy defends first. Oh, should have rolled to see if they were elite or not. So top to bottom, they're normal. Okay, mummy defends. Cha-ching! Chaos Warrior defends. Ching and a hit. All right, my turn. Yes, it is. All right. Mummy steps forward. To attack. Two skulls. This Bazargon says, I start to think Jacer has a record of maximum hours playing in the channel, correct? Could be. She's been with us a long time. Two shields. Cha ching. No damage. Hmm. Ah. Cast Warrior doesn't run from the fight. Okay, heroes. Oh. Rolling for the movement. Am I in control of the uh, villagers, or or you got the control? Uh, I guess we we never divided it up, did we? We did. How yeah, do you get? It is. You failed to control it. Okay. It's, so it doesn't matter to me. One, once once out. Two. Two right, one south, one right, throw the smoke bomb to the uh, mummy, pass through the mummy, open the door, and escape. If, if the door is open, yes. All right. Otherwise, it opened. Nope. Okay. Congratulations, you've escaped. And uh, how much the uh, villagers move? Uh, up to six each. So the first villager has 
Yes. Neither one. Out. Nothing. Yeah. Okay. That one has the that one has the short sword. He should stand above the mummy and attack. Scared to die. <laughs> oh yeah. As he passes by, you see that there's some other monsters here too. I should have put those down. Okay, uh, so that he passes out. He doesn't pass out, but I mean he leaves, escapes, since the mummy is clouded in smoke. All right, are you doing anything with the other prisoner? Uh, look, I c he cannot reach the uh, the door. The poor soul gets stuck there. Uh, there's no witnesses. Oh. <laughs> you know, uh, well, get two squares south. <laughs> Shot new happy monsters everywhere. Two, okay. And I want to see now because I know what is the club. Thanks, sir. Go, Jay, sir. Try to kill the monsters. So the wizard's Please. down to one smoke bomb. Run. So yeah, the mummy can be freely passed through. Alright, well, the dwarf did get four. So that's just enough to get out, even holding that shield. So he'll get out and stand on the other side of that door and attack the mummy. I'm not going to let him attack through the door. I think once he gets out of there, <laughs> from, he's out of there. From outside the dungeon. <laughs> well, well, all right. So you just see a long sword swinging back and forth in the smoke. He doesn't have to hit the mummy, but he is attacking the mummy, whether you say he can or not. <laughs> just won't do any damage. <laughs> you want to do an uncommon thing? <laughs> No, well, no. I, I like I said. I it, whether he's like I said whether he hits it or not, he's swinging at the smoke with the long sword. Um, the monk's gonna use strength of mountain and try to kill that mummy. All right. Except uh, I don't think he has access to the earth anymore. Why I didn't use it because I didn't search and I used the air one to hit both of them. Oh, but you weren't seeing monsters in that turn. Yeah, I forgot. Okay. Fine, you do get to use it then. Yeah, just because the monsters are there doesn't mean that they were in your line of sight. Okay, fine. So you attack him? Well, they wouldn't have been in my line of sight because he had moved from that other room, through, unlocked the door, and then came out, and that's when the monsters were in sight. Pick it at this point. Two skulls. Ch -ch -ch Ching and a wrestling move. All right. So the mummy uh, grabs you in a bear hug, and he kind of just like kind of wobbles back and forth, <laughs> and somehow it does damage to you. His bandages are really smelly. Alright, Monk's down to four. Yep. You learned that technique from a Yeti! Alright, so that pretty much makes it your turn. Okay. His Bazargon says, I'm thinking if the dragon's soaring ability would be used to jump over enemies and escape through the door. Now that would be a cool idea. Jumping over enemies instead of traps. Okay. Uh, all right. At this point, let's see. Interesting. Okay. I'm going to use no escape. 
So the door slams shut and can't be opened this, again this round. So that's going to apply to the exit door. Let's see what else can I use. Interesting. Let me just look at everybody's sheets here. Okay, I'm going to use Creeping Darkness under the assumption that it applies to the monk's techniques as well. So we can't use magic this round. Okay, and I'm going to move the mummy back. One, two, move the gargoyle ahead. One, two, and attack the monk. Three skulls, monk. Why the monk decide decide to suicide in this way? He's a man of honor. He's a man of honor. <laughs> Tell me, Jesus. Block one, take two. Down to down to two. All right. He's got healing. Really? What's he complaining about? <laughs> All right, heroes. <laughs> well, the others got to escape. Okay. The monk uses his water ability, and he moves back two spaces. Uh, he, won't, and, he won't be able to use his water ability, but he can go back. Oh, I can't use any. Yeah, all right. Then... Oh, yeah, I got to subtract two. Thank you. Sorry, I forgot to subtract two from the... I have a lot more stuff to manage now with the uh, with all those indicators comes greater responsibility. Okay, where is it? Threats. Yeah, I have five left. All right, the the monk moves back one space. And uses his longbow. Yep. One skull. Okay. <laughs> Zargon hears us. Yes. Ching. Oh, barely. <laughs> Most of Gurgan's Gar right. evil cards are call them mean names. <laughs> What are you supposed to do now? Use harsh language. Alright, and uh, I, I rally that other villager, so he moves one space to the right. Or she in this case, but... Or she. Well, the, thor the one I gave the short sword to ran out the dungeon, so well, might as well make this dagger count. Not a not a well regulated militia. Not necessarily trained the best. Ah, chaos card for Zargon. I like it. Thank you, Wordicon. Just so that he's wanting me to update the, the numbers again. Well, um since I'm out of the dungeon, technically I can buy monsters, right? <laughs> <laughs> I guess there's no law against it, so <laughs> it's <evil. laughs> Okay, wait a minute. I ran to the Saragnar guy. He, he's I, actually not so I, bad after I, all. He makes a lot of good points. I, <laughs> I can see the drop of sweat in the, in the temple of uh, yeah. Jason. <laughs> he's freezing. Oh, they don't do physical damage, but it sticks with them for years. <laughs> yeah. I can't believe he called me that. 
What is the miniature in the upper square of the monk? Oh, um, yeah. This I just put uh, one of these figures here to represent one of the characters that you find. Where are they? So you get these various people that you meet, and you know you pretty much can use whatever you want for them. But uh, that was my choice there. I had these uh, these figures I painted a long time ago to be just like generic villagers or fighting villagers, and thought it'd be fun to have a place for them in this quest. All right, so now the darkness and the door cards are done? Yes. All right. All right, so you can, I guess, have your pick of monsters. <laughs> yeah, she's a villager. Okay, so... All right, so it's my turn. Yes. Alrighty. I said you got your own army, so you can pick whichever one. All right, gargoyle moves forward to attack the monk. Such citizens should be quite afraid seeing the gargoyle and the rest of the ugly neighbors. Two skulls and three shields. Ch -ch -ch -ching. Wrestling move. Uh, I'm going to go with the monk. I'm going with, like, sharpshooter. <laughs> oh, the submission move. I was thinking, like, what is Ricky Steamboat going to do? Like, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Okay, so Gargoyle didn't like that, not one bit. He took some damage from it. Okay, well, let's see, I can move a Chaos, well, yeah, I'll move a Chaos Warrior in the way as well. And I'll move the Mummy up. Okay. Hero's turn. Uh, all right. Uh, all right, I'm going to try water again. All right. Uh, I'm going to split my movement. I'm going to move one space to the left, shoot him with the long bow, and then move one space back. Three skulls, okay. Got him. Gargoyle crumbles to dust. And then you're going to move right. back. Yep, one space back and guard the prisoner. turn then the then the prisoner see the chaos warrior to throw the dagger hmm. yes all right he'll throw the dagger <laughs> this was argon is going to the fridge looking for some ogre grog yes okay oh skull all right it'd be so funny if you got a hit Oh, yes. Well, n now that the moment has come, I don't think it's that funny, but <laughs> it worked for David. All right, two hits, so he's almost dead. Oh, great. Would it be if the villager kills the Chaos Warrior? Yeah. <laughs>
All right, uh, that, that's all I got. All right. That's for all the wormy bread. I think bread that's all I got. Um, gross. <laughs> oh, actually, can I? I'm gonna pass the villager the staff. Ah. Or the not the, the prisoner, not the villager, but he could have been a villager. Could have been from the village. Yeah. Okay, he's got a staff now. Okay, my turn. Yes. All right. I've noticed that the monk's uh, hair is standing on end, and he seems to have like little, like sparkly, like <laughs> static electricity going around his body. Okay. Uh, okay. Chaos Warrior steps forward. To attack. Got him. Got it. They keep resetting my alerts. I don't know what, why. I spend all this time setting them up, and then they just reset them all. I don't know what's going on. Current game is so interesting. The monk alone is the finale against several difficult monsters. Yeah. Blocked them. Ching. Excellent. All right. Mummy steps forward. All right, your turn. All right, I I blast both of them. Okay, he asked, "Do you prefer playing with the monk or with the mighty dwarf?" All right, a burst of flame. Toasty. Dusty, got him. All right, uh, and then this card to bring the uh, Chaos Warrior back with one body point left. He springs up; his armor is scorched, but he's still standing. All right, then I'm not. I guess that I'm not taking a step forward. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the uh, I guess the attack with the staff comes next. Okay. All right. One combat die. Missed. Missed. Man, I guess she was better than I throw her. Yeah. Well, she was also nervous to see uh, this Chaos Warrior that looks like uh, can't be killed. <laughs> or at least uh, it's not a permanent. Death isn't permanent for him, for him it seems. All right. Oh, your turn then. Chaos Warrior attacks. Two skulls. Hadouken. From earlier. Alright, blocked one, down to one. Pain. Monk is down to one. I don't. I didn't move him already, did I? No. Okay. No, and he stood back up on my turn. So. All right. He he backs off for a second. You're like, ah, coward. It's like, oh, we can let old lizard breath come forward and attack. So the Famir. Two skulls. Wrestling move. Uh oh. All right, what's it going to be? Perfect plex. Ah, bam. <laughs> Got him. Nope, nope. He kicked out. He kicked out. All right, but he is damaged. Okay, that's it for me. Hero's turn. So, I take it all your abilities are, are used up. 
Yep, punching him for two. All right. For two. Two skulls. That's a good hit. Cha ching. He blocked. Come on, one. All right. Yours. Uh, all right, prisoner. All right. All right, from the doorway. She lashes out with her staff, but once again, misses. That misses. Yep. All right. Uh, I think the wizard, when he left, he took his uh, he took his chalk square with him. <laughs> it gives him the accuracy with the staff. I should just turn that into an actual thing. That would be so funny. <laughs> like, wait, what is this? <laughs> it applies it to his staff and it <laughs> increases the accuracy. <laughs> ah, healing potion. Excellent. Just in case. Okay, well, since the monk's the only one, uh, so you've got another D6 healing. Thank you, Fubar. Thank you. And I should update potions. All right. Well, after that spectacular miss, it's your turn again. Ooh, bonus potion. Potion of alchemy. So that goes to the monk as well. And a bonus treasure search as well. Okay. Thank you for that. All right. Uh, familiar attacks. Good time for Zargon to use one of his cards. I think he enjoy any character who allows him to barge in room and whack monsters. <laughs> Two skulls. Don't worry, I know what I'm doing. Cha-ching! No damage. Okay. Alright, monster moves back. One, two. Chaos Warrior moves forward. To attack once again. Four skulls. Haha. -ha. Ching, two hits. No. The pain. Full strength. All right, what'd you use? D6. Roll the six. Oh. Wow. Okay. Yep, back to six body points. Okay. All right. Hero's turn. All right. These, they're asking uh, which one is your favorite. The monk Another punch. or orb? Two. Say that again? Uh... Yeah, no, it's a uh, question for Jace. Which one uh, oh, is yeah. your favorite between the uh, the dwarf and the uh, and the monk? Celebrity. I I like the dwarf. I I like the way the knight plays as well, and the monk. It's a little different, but it, it is very fun to play. But I, I'm not sure about the long game because there's really no way to improve him. So he's kind of always the same. Besides maybe a staff for diagonal attacks or something, you know what I mean? It, it, I it, the thing that, yeah. it, it seems like a great, you know, character to play, but then after a while, it's just always thinking about how to use his abilities and less about getting anything except for, like, potions or artifacts. Yeah. Or... My uh, opinion from watching you play and just thinking about it is that in a way, the monk kind of goes into character because he becomes generous because all the gold he collects, he can just give it to the other heroes or he can buy stuff for them. Right, or buy potions and ha right, and well, be able to hand potions. them out. Or Yeah, that's true. He can enhance himself with potions or he can... Yeah, because he's but, not but it, make, it makes the... Um, right, but it, it makes the 
potions of strength and de and defense and heroic brew and stuff like that more valuable in his hands. It's true. Um. So. I'm going to try to punch the Chaos Warrior again. <laughs> Fair enough. On Skull. Let's go. Got him. Knocked him flat. This time he's not getting All right. up. All right, good. Then I'm taking two steps towards that door. And the villager or the prisoner will come out, stand next to the monk, and attack the familiar with the staff. All right. All right. Aim for the eyeball. <laughs> Ooh, one skull. One skull. There's a chance. Got him. Awesome. Awesome. All right, and then uh, he'll pass the staff back That's to the monk. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. So, Maybe he won't. Uh, let's see. And a monster is adjacent to a hero after we kill fallen that hero and cling to him or her. Okay, so now... Oh, good. Monk, he's not adjacent. The monk <laughs> loses, loses a turn, but the villager does not. Okay. All right, so the, the villager will pass the uh, the staff to the monk. All right. And then I guess it's Sargon's turn again. Well, that monster's technically dead, so... <laughs> okay. Uh, I guess I can draw a card then. Oh, I hope it's another Raise Dead card. No, it's not. Oh, I, I'll take Raise Dead. I just don't want Log Trap. <laughs> <laughs> it did so much for that Indeed. prisoner. The fact that you didn't say it before it happened. Like it's always like, ah, at least it's not a log trap. Oh, guess what I just drew? <laughs> you <laughs> It's like you picture me cheating, like I've just got that card ready to go as soon as you say it, and then I just Oh, look what I drew from the top of the deck. Huh. What a coinky ink. Like, no, I promise. <laughs> just coincidence. Okay. Yep. Uh, don't, don't worry. We know you have a desk full of piles of cards, and you know what every pile does. You can just pick yep. that one up. Just, just happened to happen to happen. Hey, look! I'm shuffling this deck of wandering monsters. That's... Yeah, it's all the same. Well, and and yeah, if we were playing at the table, it's like okay, then you could prove I'm not cheating. But <laughs> okay. Well, all right. So my turn's over. Heroes. So monk loses a turn. All right, and. Uh... Prisoner gave him the staff back and exits the quest, safe and sound. All right. <laughs> My turn. Come on, raise dead, raise dead. No, but there's a pit trap. I'm just, I'm just <laughs> keeping you here as long as I can, right. as possibly can. Okay, so you fell into a pit trap and lose one by down a point. To, down to five. All right. <laughs> Hispa Zargon's like, quest finished, you won. Zargon just being a sore loser at this point. Okay. Uh, Monk's turn. I will use the uh, ability to search for traps and secret doors. Okay. And the horizontal? Uh, no, the, the, the vertical one, the new corridor. Okay. Uh, no traps. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's so powerful you can check both corridors. <laughs> An uncommon feat to see if he can do both at once. Uh, yeah, he'll he'll do the uncommon feat before he ducks out that door. All right. Fubar says Monk is a burst player, a blitzkrieger. Jacer's right. How does that look when the dwarves, elves, knights, and barbs end up like tanks? And magic users have equal to more defense. Is it the challenge of hard mode, or just the delight of the min minion and clearer that Jacer has been doing Jacer. with him this whole time? You may assume it is an elven bard. Villager could join the party as a new hero in the next quest. Ah, that would be cool. Yeah, a little, little storyline. Okay, 
All right, you did it. So you searched uh, all of these corridors for traps and secret doors, and you didn't find any. All right. Then I'll take that step outside the door. All right, quest completed. Congratulations. You escaped. All right. So how much how much to hire the uh, uh, chaos warrior is yeah. like banging on the door. Ah. <laughs> How much to hire the prisoners? That would be pretty funny. Yeah. Yeah. What has a short sword? I mean, they only have one body point. <laughs> All right. You're awarded a reputation token, but you're not able to visit any shops. Right. So... Okay. And if you... Bohemius? Yes. So that means we have six of them, right? Yes. What? You have your What's unidentified ingredient. Did you want to use that? Yeah. To... Okay. Yes. Yeah. Let's use potion. that. Okay. Let's throw it. My alchemy deck over here somewhere. It's like, wait a minute. These are wandering monsters as well. <laughs> you cheated. It's like you're summoning <laughs> monsters in the lab that will fight for you. Hey, that'd be kind of nah. right. <laughs> uh, Superior restoration. Wow. Couldn't, couldn't get much better than that. Yeah, that's a nice bowl. Do you need one? I give it directly to the dwarf or the monk. The, the pen. Yes. It took four sessions. This was a long one. Well, and uh, people kept Yeah, the dwarf will take it. But what sometimes okay. happens is we'll be really close okay. to the end and then people will start like cashing in lots of stuff because they don't want it to be over. <laughs> okay, so the dwarf gets it? Yes. Okay, superior restoration. Everybody's back to full health. Let's get Carl Casey back here. All right, we'll get prepare for the next quest. You've still got the energy. I know we haven't played that long, really, when you think about it. Play nothing. Play. Chaser played all the time. <laughs> all right. Oh, yeah. What about I think I, I, had, I had to kill the monsters anyway. Otherwise, the barbarian wouldn't find his way out fast enough. <laughs> yeah. Ah, you went. Oh. Oh, so kind. Well, I left a, I left a mummy in a, oh, yeah, he in a Chaos Warrior in Cypher. Fought the Chaos Warrior. <laughs> All right. Just for laughs. Just for laughs. All right. So, um, you can sell stuff. Oh, it'd only be three. Well, yeah. And then what would happen? I'd attack you him need back. some specific potions. Uh, These goals. You take damage. You attack back. Hey, sir. I couldn't hear what you were saying. I'm asking if you need some specific potion because uh, I accumulate a lot of gold, so I can buy some potion if you need. Yeah, so he would have he would have defeated the uh, Chaos Warrior. I don't know if you want some potions like the uh, Battle Rage. Want to give you an extra attack, line of sight, like a Courage. Give you extra attack. Uh, yeah, that I could use one of those. Oh, let's do shopping. You can buy a couple of those. Give it to you. You distribute in the way you want. Uh, and how much? How much 
All those potions. Should I don't remember around four hundred each. I don't remember. Three hundred. Well, we wait for Kirkham to show up. Let's see. Okay, what are you what are you looking for? From the alchemy deck. We can buy everything there, right? From Oh, you can't visit shops. What am I saying? Oh, we oh, can only visit the shop. Not even the underground market. Darn it, I forgot about that. Shoot. Yeah, okay. it, even, it even says that on there. Never mind then. <laughs> I mean, All right, you, you so then we can, just yeah get our uh, I, mean, I guess of gold. yeah we'll just mix and match hire what you've the got. three mercenaries then. Yeah, you can still hire mercenaries with your okay. uh, well yes the um, abolist, hire, uh, three. abolist we are wave and striker. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you want one of each? Yes, we hire one of each. For a whoopee total off? Let me see here. I think that's uh, like 225. You're getting everything wait, wait. but the scout, right? Yeah. One, 250. Okay. Ah, uh, yes, you too. Have a nice evening, Hispazargon. Thank you. Bonus equipment. So he just got you a bonus equipment? It is a torch. Okay. Who wants the torch? Me, I get a second one so you can start using them. I totally forget I had one. All right, so you got two. It basically prevents you from uh, triggering a hazard when you're searching. Yeah. Okay. So the barbarian also would have escaped. He can handle one little chaos warrior. Everybody's back to full health. Full mind points. <laughs> All spells are restored. All abilities refreshed. Do you guys want to keep the same turn order for the next uh, quest? Or change it? Uh, I guess. Okay. Do you want to change your spells, Bohemius? Or not? Uh, no. Okay. Okay. So I have you have three daggers left. Yes. Or yeah, because the one was taken. And you got your staff back. Monk got his uh, short sword back. Yeah, it makes it easy when <laughs> you can't shop. All right, that elixir is completely used up. We can at least start the next one. Okay. So, all right. So you hire, but you do hire mercenaries, and who's who's paying for? Is everybody paying for their own? Is that how it goes? I'm paying. No, no, I'm paying all the uh, mercenaries. Ah, because you've got lots of gold. Yeah. And uh, I'm taking probably uh, one of them, but the. Uh, Take control of. Take the side, uh, Which one you want? Um, I think I can get the striker. So you've got 1,240 yeah. left. Okay. I'll take control of the striker. Okay. And striker. You can have the other two. Has the same abilities as a swordsman. Yeah. yeah. And uh, Jacer, do you have the arbalist? Yeah, I'll take the arbalist, and the monk can take the glaive. Yeah. Okay. How many quests do we need to level up in your umbro? Yeah. Let's see. Uh, looks like the monk needs five more.
and well yeah you all need five more 